On this episode of Geek Dad Life, we're going to review the new Toxic Crusaders Deluxe Toxie figure by Super 7. With the end of one of the most legendary collector toy lines of all time, Masters of the Universe Classics, the question has become what will fill the 7 inch void it leaves behind? Super 7 looks to continue the Mo2C scale with several new toy lines that look to resurrect older toy properties the same way Maddie Collector and the Four Horsemen did with Masters of the Universe. One of the first examples to arrive is this Toxie Deluxe figure. Much like Masters Classics updating a classic 80s toy line like Masters of the Universe, this Toxie is directly inspired by Playmate's short-lived but wonderfully 90s toy line based on the cartoon Toxic Crusaders, which itself was based on the R-rated cult classic Toxic Avengers. Toxic Crusader! It's Dr. Killamoff, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. He's gonna smogify every tree in Traumaville, but look who's gonna stop him! It's Toxie, the trendy yet hideously deformed leader of the Toxic Crusaders. How does he do it? He's toxic but tasteful. This grime fighter really comes up the works with his ever faithful mom. They're gross, but they're gonna clean up the world. Toxic Crusaders! Hideously deformed action figures and toxic waste each sold separately from Playmates. While I didn't really watch the cartoon show as a kid, I love the Toxic Crusaders action figures. Even though it was just one series of figures, the great cast of characters really jumped out on toy pegs. While the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line sprinkled in crazy characters like Mutagen Man and Muck Man, every figure in the Toxic Crusaders toy line was an extreme, vibrantly colored, crazy character, and I think that's what made it incredibly special. That and it scaled really well with your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. So you could have adventures with your TMNT characters right with those Toxic Crusaders figures. That's why I think it makes perfect sense for Super 7 to make this figure. Later this year, they have a similarly styled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line coming out. And this Toxie figure should fit right in just like the original. But unlike that upcoming Turtles line, this is the only figure we have confirmed from the Toxic Crusaders toy line. Toxie comes in a brown shipper box, much like other figures from Super 7 and Maddie Collector. Taking the packaging out of that box, we get hit right away with those vibrant colors from the original Toxic Crusaders line. While the design is simple, it's incredibly effective, capturing the neon radioactive colors of the series, and it really stands out on a toy shelf. The shape and design of the box is nearly identical to the deluxe Conan figure from Super 7 that was also just released. The outer sleeve is a radioactive green that lifts up to reveal a window box that showcases the Toxie figure and all of his accessories. Overall, I like the packaging. The colors do most of the work, but it does pale in comparison to the detail afforded the Conan figure. Taking the figure out of the packaging is easy with only one twist tie at the waist and a rubber band at the ankles. Out of the box, the figure stands about seven inches tall, putting it right in scale with Masters of the Universe Classics and other seven inch scaled action figures. The figure comes with 21 points of articulation. If you own a Motu classic figure, you know what to expect here. Ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, swivel biceps, elbow joints, ball jointed wrists, ab crunch, swivel waist, ball jointed hip joints, swivel thighs, single knee joint, swivel calf cut, and rocker jointed ankles. I did not experience the loose joints that some others have experienced, so that could be a case by case issue with these figures, but mine was fine. Toxie comes with all of the accessories that the original toy came with, like the Toxic Crusader shield, bandolier with toxic grenade canisters, his sentient mop with American flag attached, this time in hard plastic versus the sticker of the original. He comes with his little sidekick Blobby who is casted in a translucent plastic instead of the glow in the dark plastic of the original. New accessories include his iconic tutu which is removable and an alternate bandanaless head. These two accessories help make him more show accurate as well as movie accurate. The Four Horsemen sculpt is spot on, capturing all the fun details of the original figure while updating it to modern collectible standards. The paint is well applied and straight from the original, even though it lacks the green paint splatter of the original. 
Going side by side with the original Toxie figure, it's easy to see how well they captured the essence of that original Toxie figure. While the original scale of these figures were more in line with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles than Masters of the Universe, I think it still fits in well with that Motu classic scale. Uh, the same scale that's being used for the Thundercats line and this new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. So I am fine with the upscale here i'll be really curious to put have these side by side with the new teenage mutant ninja turtles coming out from super seven Overall, I love this figure. It's the first time we've gotten a Four Horsemen sculpted tribute to a 90s toy, and it does not disappoint. The only disappointment will come from Toxie not getting any of the other figures of his original line to display with. If not, I hope he fits right in with the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures the same way the Toxic Crusaders fit in with that original Playmates line. While this was purely a pre-order purchase and with secondary market prices sure to continue to rise, Toxie gets the Geek Dad Life by rating. This channel shares the nostalgic passions of an 80s, 90s kid that grew up to be a geek dad. So be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and click on that bell icon to be notified when the latest episode of Geek Dad Life drops. Be sure to check out some of my other videos like one of my most recent ones right here, as well as one that YouTube wants you to check out right here. We'll see you all next time. Hasta luego and goodbye.